Hello techies In this session we will learn how to work with extract archive to folder action Before going to learn about this action let me show you a small example Let's go to the OneDrive In my OneDrive I'm having a folder called Power Automate Desktop In my Power Automate Desktop folder I'm having a file called PDF automation dot zip file. If you observe, this is different from other files, right? This is the compressor file with some of the files which are available inside this PDF dot zip file. How can I go ahead and extract the files inside this archive file? And we are going to extract the another folder by using Power Automate Desktop. There we are having an action called extract archive to folder action which is available inside my onedrive for business let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace the main purpose of this extract archive to folder action to extract the files which are available in a particular folder for an example if you see over here that is zip files only and the maximum archive size is 50 mb and the number of files inside the zip file is 100 files only this is the limitations which we have the first limitation is that the file should be dot zip it shouldn't be like dot rar file and the maximum archive size is 50 mb and the number of files inside the zip file should be 100 files only then only it will extract the files which are available in the particular zip file and then it, it will store inside the particular folder which we are going to define all right now if you see i'm going to give source archive file path in our one drive we are having power automate desktop inside my power automate desktop i am having pdf automation dot zip if you observe over here i'm having one more file that is fin dot rar but it won't extract the files fin dot rar it will extract only from the zip files there is a limitation over here all right let me select the file or folder that is root inside my root i am having power automate desktop inside my power automate desktop i am having pdf automation dot zip file let me select that and then i am going for the destination folder path after extracting the files where i have to store it all right let me go back to onedrive once again now i am going for my destination path inside my onedrive there you can see i don't have any files with pdf automation i don't have folder as well as files over here now what i'm going to do i'm going to select the destination folder as destination folder is the name of my folder inside my onedrive and i'm asking to store inside my destination folder path all right and if you see the third parameter i'm having override i'm having true or false i'm going to select true and then if you go for the advance i'm having timeout as default all right once the file has been extracted all the files which are available in the zip file it will be stored at the list of objects in the extract folder v2 response which is the variable produced all right let me click on save now if you see i'm going to give the path as static over here in a such a way source archive file path i'm going to give it as power automate desktop slash pdf automation dot zip if you want to give dynamically in that case you are going to use get file metadata from there you will get the id or the path from there you can go ahead and you can give the path also for the source archive file path let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now by using extract archive to folder it is trying to extract the files from the archive files into a particular folder in the given destination path the desktop flow has executed successfully now if you see over here pdf automation folder has archived and it has been placed in the destination folder that is pdf automation now if you see all the files have been archived and after that if you click on pdf automation there are some files which i am having that is merge pdf file ms pdf file ms pdf file to and so many pdf files and text files are available inside my pdf automation all right now 
if you see in my flow variables i'm having extract folder v2 response let's double click on that there you can see i'm having a files list of files over there the total number of files is six over there right now let me go back to once again if i'm going to count the number of files which are available in the pdf automation one two three four five and six and if you see in my variable value that is extract folder v2 response which is a list of objects there also i'm having six files let me open any one of that and there you can see i'm having id name and you can see the path over here the destination folder slash pdf automation slash ms pdf dot pdf file and the media type you can see pdf application slash pdf and ease folder false and file locator e tag and all the properties are available inside my variable now if you confirm once again there you can see i'm having ms pdf dot pdf file which is available in my pdf automation folder all right i hope you understand how to extract the files from a particular gif file by using extract archive to folder action as part of this tutorial